Welcome back to the Physician Gardener. Today we're doing another episode of Cooking with Cash and we're doing another purple carrot meal. This one is spinach artich artichoke grilled cheese with hot pepper mayo and oregano fries. Um, so I've already diced the, or not diced, sliced the potatoes into half inch slices and we are going to place them in a cooking sheet or baking sheet and drizzle on a little olive oil and separate these drizzle 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 it says four tablespoons we're gonna guesstimate just because I don't feel like measuring it out so you know rub those in that Get them all separated. Okay. All right, and then we are going to add a pinch of salt and pepper and the oregano that was included in the kit. Ooh, probably should have waited on that one. All right, got oil all over my fingers. I'm not gonna be able to open these little baggies. So this is the oregano. Everything comes individually packaged. And there it is. Drizzle that one on. And because we're doing four meals instead of two, um, there's two of everything. So sprinkle this one on like so, like so. And there's my salt. They do not include salt and pepper, but everybody's kitchen has salt and pepper, so it should not be an issue. Or I should I say everybody's kitchen should have salt and pepper. If you don't, get you some. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. those around the pan. Make sure everything gets all nice and coated. And spread them back out into an even layer so things will cook even. All right, oven is preheated to 425 degrees and we are going to roast these for 18 to 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Ooh, it's hot in there. All right, next step. It says finely chop the pickled jalapenos. They sent two because they double everything for four servings, but I'm only gonna do one because not everybody in this house likes things spicy and two, of these might be a lot. I'm not even sure I want to do this whole one. Alright. But it says finely chop. So chop, 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 chop. And for the recipe, these jalapenos are going in like a spicy mayo. Um, and so you do want to chop them pretty good because nobody wants a huge chunk of jalapeno in their mayo. And this is also, it looks like, pretty much the main seasoning for this dish. That seems like a lot of jalapeno. That is spread out over four people, so I guess not that much. Um, and we are going to mix this in a bowl with the vegan eggs.
All right, so finely chopped pickled, pickled jalapenos, add to add jalapeno and half of vegan mayonnaise. So we have two jars of vegan mayonnaise. We only use one and add that in with the jalapeno. of pepper. All right. And mix that all together. And now we have hot pepper mayo. We are going to roughly chop the artichokes, which I probably should have done before I started this video. So you may see a splice where I cut this part. I already drained and rinsed them and just give it a little chop. I never actually cooked artichokes before, so this is going to be interesting hopefully it turns out well but i think the people at purple carrot know what they're doing as far as recipes so we shouldn't have any issues and it just says roughly chopped and not finely chopped so we should be fine with just that little chop right there um Heat a, it also says mince the garlic, which is two garlic cloves. Well, you can't get me two garlic cloves from the, um, yep, actually, yep. I forgot to pull out the garlic cloves. All right, so heat one tablespoon, or heat two tablespoons of olive oil, non stick skillet. Medium high heat. I am actually going to measure the tablespoons for this so that I don't go overboard. Okay, let's do one, two. Alright, I'm going to let that heat up for a minute while I work on this garlic. It says two, but I'm actually, I think it's actually supposed to be four, because that would be double of the regular recipe. garlic, remove the outer hull, and then we can mix it. I'm not fancy enough to be able to smash and remove the hull all in one go like some people. I'll get there one day. And our oil should be hot by now, so I'm going to put the artichokes in. I'm gonna let those cook down while I actually mince this garlic.
because the artichokes will take five to six minutes to cook, which is plenty of time for me to do this step that I should have done before we even got started. So if you want to try some new recipes or you are not familiar with cooking or you just want to diversify your cooking skills and habits and recipe uh, library, trying a subscription box is not a bad idea. Usually I just go to Pinterest and find recipes or hit up, hit up Google, um, but New Year I decided to try something new. And thus far it's gone pretty well. We've had um, pasta arribata, that was pretty good. And then the jackfruit pulled pork that I told you guys about in the other video. And now we have spinach artichoke grilled cheese, which nobody in this house has ever had. So, all right, we're not browning yet. So let's read ahead and make sure we actually have all the steps underway. All right, so after we add the garlic, we'll cook that for a minute and then add the spinach. Roll the spinach down, and then that's gonna go in a bowl to the side. So, let's go get a bowl. All right, so the artichokes are starting to brown, so I'm gonna add in the garlic. Looks like a lot of spinach, but we all know you cook spinach. So I don't really trust myself to take this from the pan to the bowl without spilling anything. So I'm going to scoop it with a spoon. assembling the sandwiches. So the meal did come with bread. Take half the bread, put it on a flat surface, okay. Sourdough bread, by the way. And half a tablespoon of vegan eggs on each slice. I'm not gonna measure out half a tablespoon. Let's, let's be honest. We're just gonna get a little bit, put it on the slice. Just cover said slice. They're basically using it like butter, so some, the um, bread will be all toasty. So apply it with that in mind. And those will be our potatoes.
another few minutes. So I just added a couple more minutes. And all right, so we did the vegan age, vegan age. Flip slices over. And we are going to apply hot pepper mayo to this side. So let's try and do this evenly. spread it so that all the jalapenos are in one spot for the knife one to take them all with it. So start in the middle and work your way out to try and make it more even. Finish artichoke mixture and mozzarella to each slice. So we will just put a dollop on there, and that didn't go well. I spilled a good portion of it onto the cutting board, but luckily that's clean, so we can just scoop that up. Artichoke mixture on there. And now we have our vegan mozzarella. And we will be adding that in as neat of a fashion as we can. These are the potatoes, and I think we'll call this done right now. And salt. And then our pan back. Uh, where's the other bread? Here we go. Put the other piece of bread on, add some more vegan eggs to the outside slice, and then we're going to put these in the skillets that will be on medium heat. Where are you going to flip those? Huh? You say it what? You're going to flip those? I do plan to flip them. That sounds bad. Huh? That sounds bad. Yeah, I know. It's, it's going to be tough. A little tip that I would give is if you're doing the four um, serving boxes and you get something with bread that's supposed to be assembled like this, open all the bread at one time so that you can match the slices up for, for size. Because some of I did the first pack of bread as the bottom for all of these, so the second pack of bread it's not really even in terms of lining the bread up completely, so not that it really matters unless you're like a little bit OCD, but it's just something I just noticed. And let's so turn this up to medium. Let's get a spatula out already.
So for the size of my skillet, I'm only gonna do two at a time. It says, add sandwiches, cook until golden brown, two to three minutes per side. So, you know, we, all right, I'm back. Had some technical difficulties and ran out of storage space, but this is the final product, the spinach and artichoke um, sandwich grilled cheese with the oregano fries. And we'll go ahead and taste the sandwich. Okay. Probably should have took the smell of right. No, it's pretty tasty. The spiciness is not overpowering. It has kind of a Greek flavor to me, which may be why they did oregano fries. So, my only tips, mm, spiciness got me a little bit on the back end. If you don't like spicy, definitely cut the jalapenos in half. Um, definitely make sure your, your pan is cleaned and wiped out all the way before you put the sandwiches in there. Because um, I use the same pan that I sauteed the um, artichokes and the spinach in, and there was some leftover bits, and so some of the sandwiches are a little dark skin on one side, but the flavor is still good. The potatoes, um, if you're not good with making precise cuts and half inch cuts as they requested in the instructions, you may have to cook those a little longer. So overall, another successful meal and we will continue our purple carrot journey. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.